Well, Miranda, I think you're exactly right. That's part of the problem. This president, and look, I knew Joe Biden when he was Vice President Biden. He was a much different person. He seemed to be more moderate. Today, he's trying to play too much to the left and ultimately, at the same time, saying, well, look, we're going to go to 62,500. We're not going to reach it this year, but we're going to double it next year and try and get to 125,000. Um, I still see him leaning way, 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 way too far to the left, where he really was at one point in time a moderate Democrat. What do you think about uh, this, Robert? I mean, is he trying to placate to the far left way too much? I mean, is that what he did here? Is just trying to, like, basically appease everyone? Well, I, I don't think it's placating to the left to leave, live up to the creed of the United States of America. We are an immigrant nation. Everyone who is here who is not na uh, Native American uh, came here either through immigration or through forced immigration uh, into America. We have an inscription on the Statue of Liberty, bring us your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. I don't understand when Republicans turned against this concept and idea of being an inclusive nation and want to bring in those who have been uh, discriminated against or who are in fear, who are in danger in their home country to come become part of the great American melting pot. That's not a leftist idea. And what Joe Biden is doing is setting out the goal, saying that we are going to increase the number of refugees taken in by our nation, but that we don't have the uh, the legal apparatus in place currently to be able to process those individuals and to be able to reach that cap for this year. But in the years to come, we will be doing so, and we will be uh, that shining light on the hill that embraces those who uh, who are facing fear and death in their homelands to come here and become part of the American melting pot and help build this nation back better.